accomplish what you guys did, falling short of the goal, the ultimate goal, but an important necessary step? Yeah, I think um, I think there's a lot to be proud of. I think that uh, we took big steps. Um, I think we proved to ourselves that where we can get to. Um, I uh, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, the whole year was was uh, <clears throat> was a lot of fun. Uh, just being a part of a young group like this, and just just seeing how much they care, how much they wanted to get better. Um, where they wanted to get to. Um, it was a lot of fun. I... Is that one of the reasons the other day you talked about wanting to continue to be a part of this team, just what you've experienced with these young guys? Yeah, I don't want to play for any other team. I want to come back here and I want to... Yeah, I just kind of seems like the right spot for me. And, and uh, you know, this is my family. I don't want to go anywhere. You know, you've played for a lot of teams over the last few years. It's been kind of, you know, hectic for you, I'd say the least. Um, you know, how much does this kind of feel like a team where it's the right spot for you, maybe at the right time in this team's maturation, but also in your own career and what you can add to a team? Yeah. Um, like I said, I don't. That's where I want to be. Um, it seems right. Uh, it was a great fit. Not going to lie, when I got the call that I was traded from Boston here, I, you know, I had mixed emotions. Um, when I got here, uh, when things started, I was like, it seemed right. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for a lot of the guys in this room, and or all of them. Um, you know, um, you look at Jack and what he did this year. Um, Nico, all, you know, our our, uh, you know, some of our best players. I just think that they took such big steps in, um, you know, in the winning aspect that, um, you know, that's I want to be part of that. Eric, is that one of those things where you know go to your agent right away and, and say like, hey? Let's get uh, this done. I mean, yeah. I mean, I was just in Fitzy's office and I was like, hey, let's get it done. So <laughs> 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 whenever, whenever he gives the call, that'd be great. So hopefully we can do it sooner or later, so I can. You know, get my living situation in uh, in order and uh, make my wife happy. <laughs> early, on in, early on in the year, um, a lot of people didn't see your true impact, and but uh, Lindy Ruff said that you uh, were able to assist a lot in Jack Hughes's uh, overall success. And then towards the end of the year, we saw you go on a on a scoring streak. So I want to get your uh, your perspective on how the season went from your end and how your skill set was utilized. Yeah, I mean, I you mean, I couldn't score in the beginning of the year if the net was empty or wasn't empty. Um, goalie pulled, doesn't matter. Um, it's an interesting, um, it was, <laughs> it's, it's brutal, um, but I can score. I proved it in this league. Um, Jack's end, I, you know what, he's a, he's, He's a great player. He's gonna only get better. Um, if I helped him, that's awesome. I, you know, he, he doesn't need any help. He, <laughs> he, he's. I I just had a lot of fun playing with him. Um, you know, on the ice, off the ice. Um, yeah, I have a lot of respect for him. Eric, just you kind of way back to Jack's line a, a bunch during the year. Do you feel some real chemistry with him? Yeah, on the ice, off the ice. Eric, the fact you, you want to remain here says a lot about the coaching staff, too. What was Lindy able to provide for you this year as, as a coach? Um, he trusted in me uh, in key situations. That's all you can ask as a player. What is your favorite part of the season? Oof. Team set a lot of records, playoff, some playoff success. I don't know if I have one. Um, I don't have a favorite part. I just want to. I just want to win. Um, until that, it's you know I, I. There's a there's a lot of moments in a season that that um, you know you'll remember and um, you'll think back at positively and, and there's some the other way but. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite moment. You talk about you know I want to win. This group, do they have it in them? Yeah. You've been on a lot of teams that have been successful in the postseason, 
you see the parallels with this team, and, and is it there long term for that success? I think we're only going to get better. Eric, when you look at forwards buying into the defensive side of the game, how did that really elevate this team's play this season? I think that's when we became a contender. Uh, is I think our team, you know, I think our team got a you know saw and learned what it takes to win, um, even a playoff series. Um, let alone the hardest trophy to win in all of sports. Uh, but I think we, you know, I think that a lot of guys, you know, I don't know if Jack's going to block many shots in the regular season, but he wants to win, he'll block him in the playoffs. So it's just like little stuff like that. And it's like when you see that as a player, um, you know, when, when, when you have guys who are willing to do stuff um, a little bit harder, do it a little bit more in the playoffs, that's, you know, you don't need to say anything. It's just, it speaks for itself. Does it almost make you feel like younger in your game too? Like early, like it's early on in your career almost? I don't know if the birds <laughs> Don't let your six-year-old play with your phone. Yeah, it's, I don't know if that's a ringtone. It's a tough one. Um, but does it give you a new energy, I guess? Like being in, in such a, you know, a young and, and uh, really successful team like this? I think it just pushes me. I just, you know, I, you know, I guess, um, Going into the off season, like I want to come back better, you know. The I know that my teammates are, so I, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna work hard this summer, and and I want to come back better. Are you going back to Minnesota, staying here? Yep, Minnesota. I so. Yeah. I, I know you, like many of your teammates, you took the loss hard, but how are you going to, um, you know, motivate, use that to motivate yourself and others so that way you guys can build on this success come next year? Because obviously the expectations are going to be a lot higher. Yeah, it's the same motivation for me as every year. So, you know, I'm going to play as long as I can. I, You know, you guys always get better, so um, I want to get better. Um, and uh, others, I, you know, it's, I can't motivate others. It's, you know, you, you, you do you and, and uh, you work hard and, and you get rewarded. Anything specific you want to work on? I have a better start. <laughs> nah, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, I just, you know, I'd like to get the deal done, like I said. Um, it'd be nice to go in the summer, kind of just, uh, you know, knowing I'm going to be here and, and um, um, yeah, and just, Overall, you know, I just I'm just gonna do my part. I'm gonna be back and I'll be in shape and work hard this summer and and uh, but I don't know if I can find hands like Jack in the off season. <laughs> you know, so it's just little things, you know. You just you just work hard. You talked about the defensive, you know, you know, defensive this year, you know, with the team. Uh, a guy like Nico Heischer. I mean, you were on a team last year with Patrice Bergeron. He, you know, always a selfie candidate. Now Nico's in that conversation too. What did he show you this year in terms of that style, and then also as a leader of this team? Yeah, maturity. Um, yeah, he he showed a lot. I think that he had an amazing season. Um, you know, he he plays against the top players. Um, he he's able to do the job and. Um, you know, I have a tremendous amount of respect for him and his game. And, um, well, I'm lucky to have him as a teammate. How would you define the culture that developed with this group this season? Yeah, it's, it was it was so much fun. I um, I don't know. Like, are you, I think you guys all see it. Like, we have a lot of fun with each other. Uh, we enjoy being around each other. It's a close group and, you know, young, old, whatever it is. But we... Um, you know, that's something you want to be a part of, right? And that's what you want is um, is that. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. It was a fun year, and, and uh, can't wait to build on it. Thanks, Eric. Thank you.